everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Joyful Jessie. For those of you who are new here, I am Jessie. I would like to invite you today to come along with me as I make another traditional Puerto Rican meal. And in today's video, we are going to be making white rice and pink beans. Rice and beans. Arroz blanco con habichuelas rosadas. And the great thing about this is that this meal is super quick, super simple, super easy to make, and absolutely delicious. And you'll have it done in less than 30 minutes. It's amazing. So you gotta make sure to stick around and watch. I personally like to think of white rice and beans to be almost like arroz con gandules, brother or sister. Just like the Puerto Rican party rice, arroz con gandules is pretty much in every party, white rice and beans is in every household. And I remember eating this meal when I was growing up at least two to three times a week. And when we used to go to other family members' houses to visit, we had white rice and pink beans. And I know of people that this is like their meal. If they don't have white rice and beans, it's dinner is not dinner. But it is so easy to make and it's so delicious. And just like the arroz con gandules, when you make these beans, everybody has their own way of making them. There is not like a set right way to make them. Different people make them depending on the different techniques that they have and the different type of flavorings that they like to put in there. It is so interesting because the way I make my beans is completely different than the way my mom makes her beans. And it's very different than the way my sister makes her beans. I mean, it's still generally the same stuff and it has the same type of ingredients, but there's a couple of things here and there that we've switched around and that I personally do that my family enjoys a lot. And because I'm a working mom and especially during the school year, I'm very limited with time. I like it to be quick and it's so awesome when you still get still the delicious flavor and it's very quick and easy to make. So today I am going to be showing you how to make this. If you are new here, I would like to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you never miss out whenever I post one of these videos. I love posting weekly videos about wonderful moments and experiences with my family. I like to post videos about gluten-free cooking, lifestyle, and faith videos. So if you are into that kind of stuff, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. All right, guys, it's time to go ahead and get to it. You're gonna see just how easy and simple this is, and I hope that you get so motivated and encouraged to go ahead and give this a try at your home go over the ingredients that we are going to be using today. First off, we are going to be needing some butternut squash, about one cup of it. And we're simply going to peel it and dice it into little cubes. If you don't want to use a butternut squash, you are welcome to use a potato. But when it comes to pink and red kidney beans, this is what I like to use. It just gives it a really nice texture and a very delicious nutty flavor. We're going to be using one packet of the Goya ham seasoning, one clove of garlic minced. We're going to be using one quarter cup of some sort of a meat. I am using kielbasa, you can use ham or it can simply be hot dogs. We're going to be using the one cup of butternut squash. We're also going to be doing one teaspoon of adobo. We're going to be using two tablespoons of sofrito. I do have a video where I show how is it that I make my sofrito. It is absolutely quick, easy, and delicious. So make sure to click on the link on the top right hand corner to go ahead and check it out. One half of a can of tomato sauce. This equivalates to about one quarter of a cup. We're going to be needing one can of pink Goya beans. And we're going to be using that same can and fill it with one can of water. And I'm going to be using about one tablespoon of the Monsanilla olives. Those are the ones that are stuffed with a little red pepper inside. I love those. And about one tablespoon of olive oil, but you can use uh, some sort of vegetable or canola oil, olive oil. I have it, so I'm simply going to use it. 
we're going to go ahead and turn on our stove to a medium or medium high. We're going to be placing our one tablespoon of oil in there, our two tablespoons of sofrito, our one quarter cup of ham, or whatever meat is it that you're using, our one packet of ham flavoring, and our one teaspoon of adobo. Once those ingredients are in there, we're going to give it one good stir and we're going to let it saute until it starts browning a little bit around the corners. Once we're done sauteing, we're going to go ahead and add our one can of pink beans. Then we're going to take that same can, fill it with water and pour the water in there as well. We are also going to be adding our one tablespoon of uh, olives and we are also going to be adding at this point our quarter cup of tomato sauce. Then we're going to give it one nice good stir. Then we're going to add our clove of garlic. You can choose to mince this with a knife. I personally use this little apparatus. I'm not quite sure what is it called, but I put the garlic clove in there and squeeze it and it comes out minced on the other end. It is absolutely awesome and I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend you get one of these. Um, and then we're going to add finally our cup of butternut squash. That's the very last thing we add in there. And we're going to stir it very, very well. Then we're going to let it boil. Once it comes to the boiling point, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes and stir occasionally. As our beans are cooking, I'm going to go over to my rice cooker and make my white rice. I personally like to use a rice cooker and for my small family of four, I like to make two cups of rice and I use one tablespoon of oil and one teaspoon of salt. timer goes off for our beans we're going to go back we're going to give it one final stir turn the heat all the way down and cover it and then we're going to set the timer again for 10 minutes there is no need to open it and stir it for any reason until our timer goes off again Once our timer goes off, you are going to see that our beans are going to be ready. Look how nice and thick these have gotten. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is, Fly it. we are going to turn our burner completely off. And since I'm in the middle of making the rest of the rice, and I don't want these to get cold, I'm gonna turn my my burner that's all the way in the back, all the way low, so that it's not cooking it, but it's just keeping it warm in there. Okay. I'm gonna take this, move it to the back like that. And just let it stay warm in there while I finish my rice and my meat. Whatever you do, don't leave them here. They're gonna get burned. Move them all the way back until it's done. Dinner is ready. Time to eat. Oh my goodness, this looks so great. I'm going to go ahead and put my rice in my bowl and I'm going to place my beans over it. If you don't like your beans over it, you can put it on the side. Different people have different tastes on how they like to serve this. Either way, it's delicious. Definitely really good. I love the thickness and the nice, smooth consistency of the sauce and the beans. And the butternut squash definitely gives it a nice buttery and sweet flavor. And in combination with the saltiness from the kielbasa and the olive, 
and the beans is just definitely delicious. So you definitely need to give this a try. Here's the meal that I ended up serving my family, white rice, the pink beans, and our fried pork chop. And it was absolutely delicious. Now it's your turn to go ahead and give it a try. I know that you can do it. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. Buen provecho and I will see you next time. Bye.